Today we're celebrating the top student inventors who spent 10 weeks picking a problem they care a lot about and designing and developing an original prototype that solves that problem. And I love that it ties into STEM so much in the engineering design cycle because the kids have the opportunity to see that even if something doesn't work, that the cycle can repeat itself and that they can keep trying and keep moving forward until it does work. Congratulations to all of our young inventors being honored today at the 11th annual Chicago Student Invention Convention. Audioso addresses the problem of hearing loss in children by teaching kids what safe volume levels are. My invention is a pillowcase that could pull down your pillow for a comfortable sleep and wake you up on time with a slot that's in the pillowcase. But you know, starting with that problem and coming up with a product solution is, I can't tell you how valuable that is. This is the unbreakable book cover. And like, if you try to rip it or tear it, it won't break. It's evident that access to innovators and entrepreneurial learning builds students' confidence in tackling some of our most vexing problems. Our invention is a biodegradable and flexible pouch that will help lower the carbon footprint of plastic and also lower the carbon footprint of used feminine products. I think one of the biggest things for the kids is their pride in themselves, um, that they can actually do things besides book learning. Scoopot is an autonomous robot that picks up goose poop. It's called the slide and dry. You slide it through and then it dries it and then uh, it absorbs the water so you can double it as a blade guard. I was really blown away just by the, the passion, the energy, the ideas. So I think that's really the benefit. I mean, we might be looking at the next generation of inventors. This year, we launched the Illinois Student Invention Convention, um, which is making invention education free and accessible to kindergarten through eighth grade students and teachers across our state. 